Hey everybody, I got something new for you today. Um, I made a semi-homemade 3 inch shell. It's my first shell above 1.5 inches, 3 inches is my biggest. And uh, it's not exactly homemade because, remember I told you about all the shells that failed, I had three of them. And the third of the shells that failed was a crackle shell. And I believe it was a crackling palm. So I took the crackling palm stores, which are actually very large from that, and I arranged them in uh, just a standard circular formation inside the shell. And then since I had nothing left to burst it with, I asked my friend if he had any homemade whistle mix left on him. And uh, he did. So he gave me some whistle mix. And then I took the whistle mix. And I took a little bit of flash from one of the cups that I had upstairs. And I'm sure that flash wasn't homemade. I'm sure I got that from somebody or I purchased that somewhere. Uh, but it was just whatever was left in the cups. It was about, I think, a tenth of a gram. So uh, I boosted it with that. And then I took some of the little crackling stars I had, and those were the last of that one. That's what I made the half-inch shell that I shot in the street with. I took some of those and put that in the core to make a little crackling core, and then I took my friend's whistle mix, used that as the burst charge, and then I arranged the crackling comet or the crackling palm stars, whatever they were, on the inside in circle formation. Um, I'm not expecting too much boom out of this thing because um, it's a very thin plastic shell, and I put a decent amount of lift in it, so I hope it gets up there. I think I used one-tenth the weight of the shell as a lift charge, which is what you're supposed to use. I usually use one-sixth because I like to get it up higher, but I use one-tenth because you can tell it fits the gun really tight here. It almost looks like it doesn't fit in. It really has, I'm going to say, a sixteenth of an inch of room on the side when you push it down into the gun. So um, that's what I'll be using for this. I'll be using a cardboard three-inch gun to shoot this out of, and hopefully it works. So I'll see you next time. And when I do this one, I'll do my other two homemade shells that I have left. The um, one and three quarter inch junk ball shell and the canister shell that was completely homemade from five, six months ago, whatever it was. So, alright guys, um, can't wait to see this thing go off and hope everybody has a good day.